What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and I hope that you're having a wonderful day. If you are, please do consider subscribing down below. I hope I perhaps will earn your subscription today. I'm also gonna link my Twitter in the pinned comment, pushing hard for 275,000 there. And uh, it would be awesome if you haven't followed me already on Twitter, that maybe today uh, will be the day you do that. So I covered this a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, the creator of Rick and Morty and several other cartoons being, uh, you know, fired, disassociated with from the show. And at the time I was, you know, trying to be objective and I, I still am trying to be objective, but these new text messages, not good. Really, really not good. I don't necessarily care about all the new hit pieces today that are talking about my toxic work environment because, uh, zoomers have no idea what it was like. Uh, what it's like to actually have a toxic work environment. They think someone telling them to do their job is a is a you know one of the worst insults that could ever happen to them. But these text messages are not good. In fact, new reports say Cartoon Network reportedly uh, investigated Rick and Morty co-creator over claims of workplace misconduct in 2020, years before it actually severed ties with him. Now, clearly, he was investigated, and I assume not. Found, you know, found like not at fault. NBC News first reported last month that Royland, who had voiced the characters in Rick and Morty and co-created Hulu's animated show, Solar Opposites, was charged with, of course, bad behavior. Now that I think maybe he could have gotten over because it happened back in 2020. However, his lawyer said, we look forward to clearing his name and helping him move forward as swiftly as possible. He, of course, pled not guilty. Since NBC News reported on the charges, both Adult Swim and Hulu have parted ways with Royland. He will be replaced on Rick and Morty and Solar Opposites. Now, what's interesting is these text messages. You see here on Sportskedia, what do you do? Leaked text messages surface as Adult Swim cuts ties. This is back on January 27th. I totally missed it, apparently. Um, but these are, these are text messages here. These are not my claims or screenshots. The person who shared these initially deleted them and made a pair and they made their account private. I had the original thread linked in the replies before it was deleted. Here's a screenshot of the original thread thread I found on Reddit. Um, and it's obviously really bad. Uh, you know, you kind of see this stuff and you hope that it's fake, but it doesn't, you know, in September, 2015, Justin Roiland followed me on Twitter. I was 16. Of course I was excited because I loved Rick and Morty at the time. So I messaged him first and we started talking every now and again, some of it very casual, but some parts were hundred percent weird in the screenshots of the alleged conversation. Now remember it, that is just alleged between Justin Roiland and the kid. He can be seen using slurs, asking the kid to go into uh hook up slavery and calling her stupid effing B. Oh, I'm sorry. The different F word and, or ending the message with, just kidding. Another caption of the thread read as follows. Only a few messages and he said, things bear in mind. I was 16 and very obviously looked young, blonde hair and braces. I was just seen as a fantasy to most. What? One of the messages, he also asked the anonymous then minor to start doing cam work when she turned 18. Another text shows him calling her jailbait before stating, you should grow older, you dumb bee. Uh, moreover, Others have now come forward to share an, an additional chats with Royland. In one of them, the voice actor asked to get a Morty tattoo on her chest, right? You are great. So are you. Are you going to get Morty tattooed on your uh, B licking you? I don't know what the N. It's an N word that's blurred out. I'm not sure what that is. It, it ends with an E. If not, then you, you who? Uh, you should do it. I don't really understand. Um, you know, it, it's weird. Um, you know, and, and it's like, maybe these are just, you know, drunk texts, you know, people say that he had a, a drinking problem, you know, okay. But gosh, that gets really hard to like, you know, be cool with, uh, or be like accepting of when you read some of these messages, I actually want to pull up the messages themselves because I think that's obviously like a kind of a bigger deal. Um, you see only a few messages. Actually, let me pull up the, this is from what Marty America USA. Okay. Shout out 
Again, these are just screenshots, so it's tough, but there seems to be enough people popping up. That said, if it's real, uh, you know, we've seen stuff like this with Pro Jared. I'm sorry, with Pro Jared, where it ended up not being real and, you know, stuff like that coming out. But why are these people messaging like such young ones? You know, and it sure seems like it happens all the time. I mean, it happens, you know, his, his, uh, <laughs> he, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, sorry. Uh, the other creator, the co-creator, Dan Harmon, also had some weird stuff. Now, he wasn't texting people he shouldn't have been, but it was very odd. Now, you see in this, some people are saying it's fake. I don't know. Um, looks like a bunch of tweets were deleted. Uh, but here's the, you know, looks like going through the message, apparently. Justin Roiland, since you follow me, does this mean I'm obligated to slide into the DMs and then slide out? Uh, What? Also, hi, my story is I'm a pink-haired scene kid from where? How old are you? London and 16. Have we talked before? Now nah, I don't think so. You just followed me one day and it was like OMG because of Rick and Morty. Um, oh God, I'm looking through your pictures and I know that's why I added you. Dude. I mean, like because I'm weird and it's super small. I mean, if this stuff is real, I mean, I guess you could still have like inspect element and I don't know if, if they like refresh the screen at any point. Let's see. Okay. Blocked him. Oh, I don't know what he's showing here, what she's showing. Oh, I guess showing that it's you know, uh, like these are really, oh, he uh, clicked, she clicked on the profile so you could see it was actually him. I think that's what it was. Um, yikes. Big yikes. You know, and there's all sorts of these. Jessica is hot for a 14 year old. Ha ha ha. She's older. Dude. What in the heck is this? Yeah, around 14, 15, I would say. What is this? God, I hope it's fake. It, I mean, like, it seems like people are starting to report on it. Again, you see allegedly he wrote in another message to then underage woman who uploaded the exchange to Twitter. You should run away from home and just, you know, do this or that. The Rick and Morty writers room saw similar behavior, welcoming famous fans of the show like Kanye West and Riley Reed into the production offices and making the rare occasion Royland would show up to work. After the first group of female writers were hired during season three of the Adult Swim series, this behavior allegedly shifted. Multiple sources told THR that Roiland sent a female employee a really crappy late night text asking her to come to his home for an implied three way with his partner. She did, didn't want to run up the flagpole, just said it was really effed up, awkward thing. Um, golly, why is it so hard to just not be a total weirdo? I mean, the, look, if you're, if you have, you know, look, we've all sent a text that we regret, but like these appear to be some full on conversations with very youngs, um, you know, insane, insane. The screenshots below Royland tells them to start doing cam work, all this stuff. Is it fun? Oh, here's the link. Finally. Okay. Like. Would you do video game reviews? I bet you'd do good. Yeah, just playing games. Then once you turn 18, you can start cam work. Why are you such jailbait? What's wrong with you in that regard? You should grow older. Dude, is it cool being jailbait? Does the FBI follow you around arresting men you hook up with? Maybe I will. I want to meet you in real life, jailbait, so I can't help you not be a... Uh, what? I'm Atlanta drunk. Okay, so they were drunk texts. But he clearly, during these texts, knew that this person was underage. That's just a yikes for me. I, I just, I don't really know, you know, if these texts, like, if, you, if it came out and these texts were, like, fabricated or something like that, okay, sure. But if these texts are, are real and the context is real, 
it's very, very bad. And you should feel bad watching Rick and Morty because apparently its creator is a ped. Uh, or I guess that's not the right word. Um, the, apparently the creator is a, uh, he in, in, in enjoys them young, I'll say. Um, law-breakingly young, uh, you know, and... You know, I hope I don't get all the, well, back in this 1500s, people. Uh, but, like, bro, it's not okay. It's illegal. It's gross. I don't know how, he, how old he was. Okay, on 2015. So how old is he? How old is, how old is he now? He's 42. So in 2015, he was in his late mid to late thirties talking with 15, 16 year old people. Huh? Yeah. Rick and Morty is just not going to hit the same probably for me. I hope you were informed by this video. If you did, if you were, please do subscribe. And if you haven't yet, please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash the quartering. I would greatly appreciate it. And we'll talk to you again real soon.